Okay, so now we are actually trying something new on my vlogging channel whereby we introduce you guys to the shopping and then we get to the cooking so we get to see the responses and then we see what we can do but for today I'm actually going to be making um, bacon rice so, so to start I have my saucepan on fire yeah shout out to my saucepan from my mom And then to this saucepan, I'm just going to be adding a touch of oil. And we are going to allow this oil to heat up and then we add in our bacon. Okay. So our bacon has been sliced into thin pieces like this. So let's just drop it because once this oil heats up the bacon is going to burn okay it's already even a little hot so let's just add this This is a non-stick pan, so it's not supposed to stick. We are just going to get a brown coating on this. Wow, the bacon smells absolutely nice. allow this to get a little bit more color and then we take it out because if you cook this with the rice it's going to be soft at least you want to still have the crispiness of the bacon i remember when i went to the supermarket to buy you, you guys will see it in the earlier video and I went to the supermarket to buy the bacon. I actually wanted to get um, one kg but I actually ended up getting half of the kilogram yes. I thought okay it was enough and we are using long grain rice but it's not basmati ah uh, i've forgotten the name of the rice i'm going to check the name of the rice guys and i'm going to leave it down in the description box somewhere wow the wind is really blowing guys i don't know if it wants to rain but it better not rain okay i think this is okay so let me take the these out. I'm trying to look into the pan over the camera so it gives it the dark shade. Sorry guys. Mm -hmm. 
this is raw unedited videos i'm giving you so this is what happens when i actually so now we are adding in our onions This is a little oil. Perfect. So let's allow the onions to get a little color on them. Then we add in the rice. I don't like burnt onions or extremely caramelized onions. Guys, please correct me, right? So, I have here one cup of washed lawn green rice. Why do you need to wash the rice? Somebody will ask. Okay, you actually need to wash the rice because it gets all the starchiness from the skin of the rice so that you can get a fluffy rice okay. so we have types of rice if you're using a long grain rice you know there are some rice that absorbs more water some do not so if you're using an, a long grain rice you just need a cup if based on if you're using one cup of rice you need a half cup more so it's like one and a half cup of water if you are using two cups of rice you need two and a half cups of water so if based on you you think your personal purpose if you think the rice is too hard for you or you think okay it's too firm not hard the, the word is firm you can then add in more water okay so you are just going to slightly, slightly fry up this rice. Let's add here about half teaspoon salt. Salt is based on personal preference. Okay, we can now add in our water. Here goes the water. That was a cup of water. So here comes the half cup. Gently stir this. And then, okay, so this is the trick. We are going to allow this to boil. Once it boils, we stir and then we lower the heat to meet, um, to low heat and we allow this to simmer between 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, so let's allow this to boil and then we'll lower the heat for it to simmer. So it's been 18 minutes now. Wow, let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow, it smells good. So now for the last two minutes, we are going to add in the bacon, guys. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. And then we're going to mix in the bacon. So now we have we turn off the heat.
Wow, this is what we call fluffy rice. Look at this. Let's get a thumbnail. Let's get a thumbnail. Fluffy bacon rice. Wow. So we turn the heat off and then we allow this. We cover this. Wow. We cover this for two minutes and then voila. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm, you can see me holding the ladder. <laughs> yeah you can see my light as well but it doesn't matter though thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe follow me on instagram at acn 9332 and then i'm on tiktok as esther asian zero you can email me at acn 60 at gmail.com bye, -bye. hello guys welcome to today's video um Today I'm going to be making um, um, beef tacos, right? And for the beef tacos, I'm making the beef mix, actually. Okay. And then from time to time, I'll try and give you guys content more often. So for now, I'll be very <laughs> uh, regular. Yes. So to start, we have our saucepan on fire. And then it's on medium heat. Let's add in our sunflower oil this is enough so this sunflower oil i have here um pre should i say chopped or diced any of them pre-chopped onions garlic and then two small red chili pepper in good and then we are just trying to get a little browning on the onion wow it smells good already amazing So while this is browning, let me introduce you guys to something, right? I have here Coco Loco. And what is Coco Loco? Coco Loco is a Mexican taco spice mix. I actually found this in the mall. Yeah, I found this at Marina Mall. I never tried it before and I think I got it in the mild flavor i've forgotten the price for it this is my first time actually i'm going to try this okay uh, it might actually taste surprisingly good too let's, let's just read the contents out it has chili it has cumin it has garlic it has salt it has onion it has potato fiber it has hair it has rich seed oil and it has flavoring and it has spice extract as well and then there's a recipe down in it so we are going to try this for the first time so we hope it turns out good wow the onions are spicy oh my goodness i i added my own i i like to have fresh stuff and since they had written mild on it i thought maybe the chilies are not that hot so let me add mine i couldn't get the hot it was only left with mild i just got the mild right so let's allow this to brown a little more and then we add in our um main The mince beef was frozen well, but I have to defrost it. So I have here a half pound of mince beef. Wow. 
It's not it's so disgusting though. So, I should have fully okay. Let's allow this to break down and then we get mixed in. Wow. So everything is now cooking nicely. You don't have to add tomatoes but i like to add here diced tomatoes not too finely diced not too thin diced this is just one small diced tomatoes let's add in our spice okay this is 40 grams we are going to add just about 20 grams and we are going to taste the first. If we need more, then we add more. Wow, it smells real good. This is the 20 grams. Oh my goodness. It smells amazing. And the recipe said once you add your taco spice, you add in, is it 20 grams of water? Let me read it. No, 50 milliliters of water. But I'm just going to be pre boiling, eye boiling, sorry, because water. And you're going to allow this to simmer. Okay, but before we allow this to simmer, let's taste. We are, we are tasting the liquid. Wow! Oh my goodness! Wow! Hmm, interesting. It needs, it still needs more spice. So we are going to, I don't know if I add all the rest, it's going to be too salty or not. That's another thing I'm worried about. So just a little bit. Let's mix this first. If we still don't have the taste you are looking for, it's not too salty. That's one amazing thing. The the salt the salt level is just right, amazingly right. Okay, so now let's taste this again, the second taste test. Oh, damn! Wow, this is good. Oh my goodness, this is good. This is good. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we are going to allow this to simmer. The recipe says allow this to simmer. There's actually a recipe on the back. Let me show you guys. Here it is. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's not able to focus. Okay. I have in our recipe. That's it. So what does it say? It just, it just says fry for a few minutes. So I'm actually going to 
um, cook this for about five to ten minutes yeah so that i can still have consomme to to dip my tacos in right so let's fry and then we'll get back to you guys wow finally so i allow this to reduce guys wow so this is your beef tacos your beef taco mix so you can now assemble your tacos so you you come you have your deep fried tacos or oven baked tacos then you put your cheese you put your taco mix you put your vegetables you have you can have your lettuce your cabbage and then you add your cheeses or you can add um pico pico de gallo or salsa exactly some add avocados though so anyway thank you guys so so much for watching please like and subscribe follow me on instagram at acn9332 tiktok at acn9 no esther acn0 and then you can email me at acnesther60 at gmail.com bye welcome to today's video okay so before you actually see this video there's like a pre video of like what i did in my day or how i spent my day so i actually got this you have to watch the beginning to get to this part so i actually got this from um Melcom. yes this is the new indian i think it's the relish 
they said it's the chicken delight so you are coming to try this right if you don't want to watch the one that includes the vlogging plus the food you can just watch only this food video on um my shots my youtube shots right okay and guys my patreon account is active now so please go and you know support why bye bye let me just no not bye bye we are come to cook <laughs> okay so on the pack if you look at the back right at the back right there are instructions on how to cook this thing it says it's what does it say it says pour the chicken chunks and add dried vegetables but the first one what's the first one say the first one please focus i want the camera to focus come on okay they've come the first one is saying pour two and a half glasses of water so there are directions so we have a cup, one cup for our heat is on sorry for the play feature okay it's now back on for the meantime we're going to use two cups right because we don't know how it's going to turn out we don't we don't want to have a soggy noodle so this is the two cups so let's allow this to boil guys then i'll get back into putting the noodles indomie into it so our water is virtually almost boiling now so let's open it it has been opened now and then this relish has five spices here it is five spices with the seasoning oil and what does the step two say the step two says pour the chicken chunks and dried vegetables okay so open with me i have my scissors here i'm virtually following the instructions behind it to see how it turns out so chicken chunks okay there's the it said dry vegetables and chicken chunks chicken chunks where are you chicken chunks where are you okay chicken chunks you have been found <laughs> this is an edited video i'm giving you raw and edited video so that you guys see what is more goes on behind the screen okay so dried vegetables go in chicken chunks goes in what is the next step the next step says Add noodles. The rest of the add noodles into boiling water, containing chicken chunks and dried vegetables. So the next step is say we should add noodles. And this is this is two hundred grams of noodles. Let's add all the pieces. So look, it's done. There's nothing in it. So let's allow this to boil. How many minutes are we supposed to cook this? We are going, we have to cook this for two minutes and then we add in the seasoning oil and chili powder. Okay. Then we cook it for an extra one minute. So in total, that is three minutes. Okay. So let's allow this to boil for two minutes and then we'll get back. So it's been two and a half minutes now because I like mine to be a little on the softer side. And here it says we should add the seasoning, what is it? Seasoning relish, that's a seasoning powder and the chili powder. I can already feel the heat. And then there's the onion oil, that's the seasoning oil. Okay. 
Okay. We are adding it. Then let's mix this. Wow, it smells amazing, guys. Let's come closer. Look at this. is virtually done but one more minute because it has some it still has some water residue now let's get a thumbnail right now wow thumbnail so let's allow this to cook for one minute and then i'll get back home so guys for me the packaging said three minutes two minutes with the chicken chunks and the vegetables and then one minute with the seasoning and the seasoning but i did mine for four minutes perfectly cooked so let's taste right let's just get a little Mm. Mm. wow not too soft not too hard it's perfectly balanced so let's put our food off thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe follow me on instagram at acn and you can email me at acnesta60 at gmail.com i'm also on tiktok at esther acn zero and then my patreon account is also active so if you want to support me feel free to do so bye bye So it's been two and a half minutes now because I like mine to be a little on the softer side. And here it says we should add the seasoning, what is it? Seasoning relish, that's a seasoning powder and the chili powder. I can already feel the heat. then there's the onion oil that's the seasoning oil okay we are adding it okay. then let's mix this wow it smells amazing guys Let's come closer. Look at this.
this is virtually done but one more minute because it has some it still has some water residue but let's get a thumbnail right now wow Amazing thumbnail. So let's allow this to cook for one minute and then I'll get back home. Hello. Good afternoon, guys. It's currently afternoon at my end. So today, I'm going to prepare something different. Something in the local Ghanaian food recipe called kukuyam porridge or also known as um potong poto or nuhu okay so to study first how to get your kukuyam and this is how the kukuyam looks like i've washed this right this is how it looks like it's in the soil so this is how it looks like but when you cut it it looks it has a little pepperish white color inside okay so to start i already have some that i have peeled here and soaked in water neatly washed this is how it looks like so we are going to transfer this pre-cut and pre-washed kukuyam into the saucepan i have quite not a lot but a great amount the water is neat as well, so it doesn't matter if I have some in there. You can see the pepperish color, right? And I've diced them into smaller pieces so that they can cook properly for the kukuyam porridge. And kukuyam porridge is very healthy, simple, and easy. You would like it. If you can't find kukuyam in your country, you can use yams as well, which is a great substitute. So this is it. This can feed about two people. If you don't eat much, maybe three, because once it boils. So to this, we are going to add two cups of water. This is one and a half. Let's add um, another half cup also. This should do. We don't want our porridge to be too watery, so this should be okay. So to this, we are going to add, we are adding our seasons before we put it on fire, right? So we have here one tablespoon salt which we would address later if it's not enough here we can, we have some onions we have our garlic we have something in my language called momone which is in english called salted fish so this is how it looks like basically usually they use tilapia to do this if you don't have it in your country it's fine okay it's fine but it gives it a lot of flavor and then we also have here dried fish in my country is called emane but in english i think it's called herrings yes dried herrings or anchovies the smaller types are the anchovies which it's popular everywhere so you also add this to give it more flavor okay most people use you can use freshly grounded pepper that is good for you but i want to use powdered pepper which makes it faster and easier to cook so i'm a pepper person i like a lot of pepper so for now this should be okay so we stir and let's put this on 
okay high heat not medium heat high heat because we want this to cook so high heat to cook between eight to ten minutes till it gets soft and then we'll come back to adding the rest okay so see you in 10 minutes so guys wow the vapor let me see if we'll focus okay so this has been cooking for 15 minutes now i said 10 but when it was at 10 it wasn't soft enough so now let's try and see you know it's neatly cast itself so let's break this more into even smaller pieces trying to mash some out Wow, this smells amazing. I tasted it and the salt was amazingly okay. If you want more chili pepper, you add more rice. Right? If you want less water, you add less. But for me, my water is okay. I'm trying to break this, okay. So now what we add is, uh, we have something we call in our language, zumi or palm oil in foreign languages. And this is how it looks like red oil actually so we add in about three tablespoons one two three and then we wait to see the consistency first oh my goodness wow look at this come on please focus come on look at this look at this wow for me the oil is okay but if you want more you can let me bring it closer so that you can see oh i need a good bite look at this wow wow so this is kukuyam porridge or we call it impoto impoto so thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe Follow me on Instagram at ACN9332 and then on TikTok at EstherACN0. Email me at ACNEstha60 at gmail.com. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome to today's video. So, today is another day, and I'm going to be showing you guys how, how to properly fry ripe plantains okay some people like their plantains on the very hard side which is like just a little ripe some people like this extremely ripe some people like this in the middle so for me preferably i like mine to be something like this not too ripe not too hard as well preferably in the middle so let's cut this up Put the saucepan on fire, add our oil, then we fry. So my saucepan is on fire now. Today I'm using stainless steel, but for the bottom, I don't know what happened. I think I used a stainless steel sponge and that's what happened, but never mind. So to this, let's add, I'm adding vegetable oil. A good amount of vegetable oil. A good amount and i'm using fry tall oil they said it is a cholesterol free oil 100 percent pure vegetable oil so that is it so let's allow this oil to heat then we add in our cut up plantains so the oil is bubbling hot now wow so this is how i cut the plantain slices not too small not too big so that they can fry beautifully and it's always good to use a stainless steel container frying such things like plantain chicken Let's not overcrowd the pan, right? 
so that you can get the perfect browning on it. So we are going to fry each side, four minutes on each side. So let this fry for four minutes. Plantains are very sweet actually, especially when it's ripe like this. It's sweet, so there's no need to salt them. But if you want, you can add salt, you can add pepper. But today, I just want to skip, okay? So let's allow this to fry. This is browned enough, so let's let it. You see the browning I was talking about? So neat. Oh, come on. Nice one. Okay. So look at this beautiful color. beautiful color so let's allow this to cook on the other side to for three to four minutes and then we'll take them off wow it smells amazing mm, i wish you guys can just smell this plantain it smells it smells so delicious so i have here my plates fried plates so you're going to take this off into the plate. So let's start with this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. Wow. Oh my goodness. I just want to get a thumbnail for YouTube. So we are taking them off one at a time gently you don't want to as i said my plantains are ripe so they are quite soft so i'm handling them with care Turn off the heat. Wow. Look how clean my oil is. Interesting. Last bit of it. Please focus. Okay. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, but let me show you how it looks like. So guys, this is how it looks like. Let me bring it closer to the camera. This is it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at ACN9332. You can email me at acnesta60 at gmail.com. And then I'm also on TikTok at Esther Asian Zero. Bye bye. Hello, guys. Welcome to a day in my life. Currently, I'm on the airport street heading towards Marina Mall. Yeah, to get a few stuffs. This is 
feta cheese mozzarella this is bacon so here I was at KFC at Marina Mall. So this is the menu. You can see the family treat for 120 Ghana cities. You can see the types of burgers. You can see the chicken buckets and the sweet treat. Okay, so I have the KFC now. I bought two piece chicken. So I just want to show you what I got. So this is the chicken and chips. It came with potato chips. Yeah, two pieces. And I, it came with ketchup as well. They gave me two pieces of ketchup as well. Hello, guys. Welcome to today's video. So today is another day. And I'm going to be showing you guys how, how to properly fry ripe plantains. Okay. Some people like their plantains on the very hard side which is like just a little ripe some people like this extremely ripe some people like this in the middle so for me preferably i like mine to be something like this not too ripe not too hard as well preferably in the middle so let's cut this up put the saucepan on fire add our oil then we fry so my saucepan is on fire now. Today I'm using stainless steel, but for the bottom, I don't know what happened. I think I used a stainless steel sponge and that's what happened, but never mind. So to this, let's add, I'm adding vegetable oil. A good amount of vegetable oil. A good amount. And I'm using fry tall oil they said it is a cholesterol free oil 100% pure vegetable oil so that is it so let's allow this oil to heat then we add in our cut up plantains so the oil is bubbling hot now wow so this is how i cut the plantain slices not too small, not too big, so that they can fry beautifully. And it's always good to use a stainless steel container of frying such things like plantain, chicken. Let's not overcrowd the pan, right? So that we can get the perfect browning on it so we are going to fry each side four minutes on each side so let this fry for four minutes plantains are very sweet actually especially when it's ripe like this it's sweet so there's no need to salt them but if you want you can add salt you can add pepper but today i just want to skip okay so let's allow this to fry wow it smells amazing Mm, I wish you guys can just smell this plantain smells. It smells so delicious. So I have here my plate, fried plate. So you're going to take this off into the plate. So let's start with this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. Wow. Oh my goodness, I just want to get a thumbnail for YouTube. So we are taking them off one at a time. Gently, you don't want to. As I said, my plantain are ripe so they are quite soft so i'm handling them with care let's 
let's turn off the heat. Wow. Look how clean my oil is. Interesting. Last bit of it. Please focus. Okay. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. But let me show you how it looks like. So guys, this is how it looks like. Let me bring it closer to the camera. This is it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at ACN9332. You can email me at acnesther60 at gmail.com. And then I'm also on TikTok at estherasian0. Bye-bye. hello guys welcome to today's video so today i'm going to be making beef curry not just any beef curry but indian beef curry the indian way or you can say beef masala mm -hmm. so i have my oil i'm using sunflower oil today in a saucepan and it's on medium heat it's been heating for some time so to introduce to you my spices we are going to first cook the spices in the oil a little so that it infuses with the oil so from a friend an indian friend i first have cinnamon stick some star and yeast just two of them i also have some cloves i have some bay leaf This is rosemary, you see in there. And I, and I also have, oh wow, sh God, I also have some cumin seeds. Let's add all in. And let's stir this. A little, we are not trying to burn this, okay? Wow, the spices smell really good. If you have cardamom, you can add some. I didn't have, so these are what I'm using. Okay, so for me, I think it's okay. So let's add in our onion, on onions. Sorry, the secret for a good um curry, any type of curry, chicken curry, shrimp curry, is your onions. So. I have here one large garlic onion. And we want this onion to brown, but not bend, just a little brown on the edges. So let's allow this to brown for about two to three minutes, then we get back. Yeah, so I think the onion has browned enough for me, it's okay. So we are going to add our beef, or should I say lamb, which is it. This has been marinated in um, diced garlic and ginger paste and then some yogurt so this is how it looks like exactly you can see the garlic and the ginger and it has been diced into bite-sized pieces so that it, it cooks faster and it's um, easier to eat okay because i way to eat this you can eat it with rice or anything so let's add that uh, 
I'll make it deep. And for the yogurt, I use plain yogurt. You can use any yogurt. And so yeah, I also added salt to just a little salt. You can use plain yogurt, any kind of yogurt you have. So you have to allow this to brown, the beef to brown. The bite sizes make it so convenient for eating. Because when you are here, it's so inconvenient. As I said, you can eat this with rice, you can eat this with um, flat bread, Indian garlic naan. Yeah. This is very delicious because it has a lot of infused spices and I know you are going to love this. So let's allow this to brown. Three minutes on each side get back to you soon yeah so wow mm, i can smell the spices so let's add in more spices okay so we are going to eyeball this i love chili so this is about two tablespoons chili flakes wow so spicy i can feel it we are going to use curry powder. You can use turmeric if you have. You can use garam masala, but garam masala, yeah, sorry. But I only have curry powder on hand. Let's use also about two tablespoons. Yeah. I'm using the one in the pack. And then let's add in some beef season. Can use chicken season if you have and then let's mix this up oh sorry i forgot i have to add in some black pepper this is freshly grated black pepper and all the spices i use at the beginning like the Cinnamon, star and yeast, um, rosemary. I actually use dried rosemary, um, the cumin seeds, and all those things. You can actually grate them, you can have them in a the blended form, it doesn't matter. What we are going to do after mixing all these is that I'm going to add in water. A good amount of water about two cups of water so that this beef can cook can cook and tenderize perfectly so i'm going to leave it on medium heat for about 30 minutes and then once it's soft enough we are going to add in about a tablespoon or two of tomato paste Wow, this smells amazing. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, this flavors are amazing. Let's, so we're going to add in our cup. So let's first add in a cup of water. Let's see. This is going to actually boil down a lot so let's add in another half okay so this is okay so that once it boils down we can still have some liquid because you don't want your curry to be dry but let's taste this before
Mm. Wow. 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 I'm impressed. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. It's spicy. Wow. Because of the garlic and the ginger and the pepper. But let's add a little chicken season. Hey, sorry, beef season. I would have placed the season in the video, but it's not a free advertisement, you know. So you can use any beef season, you have any beef stock season or anything. Uh -huh. For the liquid, I could have added beef stock, chicken stock, vegetable stock, but I chose to use water. So any of them which is good for you, you can use it as well. So let's allow this to cook down for 30 minutes. We add in our tomato paste, a little of our tomato paste, and then we cook it for more time. So see you in 30 minutes. Wow. I just tasted this and it was amazing. You can see that it has taken look. So it actually says that the water was not too much. So adding in an, uh, about a tablespoon of tomato paste. As you are cooking, don't forget to be tasting your salt. Make sure your seasons are on point. If you need pepper, add more pepper. If you need garlic, add more garlic. If you need more ginger, add more ginger. Cooking this for five more minutes. Let's taste. Wow, I'm very impressed. This recipe is really delicious. Just I think the oil was a little too much, so we're probably using this food to this oil last. But aside from that, let's get it some new. Without it, it is. So, this is it. I'm just trying to get some new guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at ethan 932 You can email me at hnsrtcrgmail.com. And then you can also follow me on TikTok at esther 0 Thank you for watching. Bye bye.